Welcome to Leading Leaders Podcast. Five minute videos, five days a week. True story, you cannot, I don't care how good you are, you cannot start a peach orchard in a paved parking lot. You cannot start a peach orchard in a paved parking lot. Subscribe now for our extensive video library of leadership lessons promoting faith, family, and freedom. I'm Jay Lauren Norris with Leading Leaders Podcast. I'm not even going to tell you who said the quote because I don't want it to taint your idea of whether or not it's true and, and how it applies to your life or whether or not even it fits into your life because I'm afraid that if you knew who the originator of the idea was, it might taint your impression of its validity. So I'm not going to tell you. If you want to know, you're going to have to send me a private message. Otherwise, you just won't know. You just have to live in your ignorance for as long as you choose to live in your ignorance. Here's what I'm telling you. It's not that the information isn't available. It's just a question of do you care enough to know what you should know? Most of us struggle with the idea that we don't know what we don't know. And I'm telling you right now, I'm about to give you a quote that could change your life. And I'm not going to tell you where it came from unless you're willing to go find out by sending me a message. And no, that's not about you sending me a message. I really couldn't care less. It's about do you care enough about you to know? Here's the quote. Comfort is a cage. Comfort is a cage. Now, I want you to put that together with the original idea that I started this message with that you can't plant a peach orchard in a parking lot. Now, sure, you could put in some big flower pots and you could pour in a bunch of dirt on top of it, et cetera, et cetera. But if the parking lot is paved and you just take your peach seed and lay it in the middle of the stripes, you ain't getting no peaches. There's no depth for the roots to get a hold of. There's no nutrients for them to fill themselves up with. I think I was kindergarten or first grade the first time I had a growing experiment. And we took a little styrofoam cup and we put some fertile dirt in it. We stuck some corn down in it to try to grow some corn. And we did. And my little corn shoot got up about this tall. It was, it was so cute in that little cup. And I brought it home and I realized that in that cup, it's not ever going to be a corn stalk. We were in Iowa and I'd seen hundreds of thousands of corn stalks in Iowa. There's lots of them, miles upon miles of corn. And so I went out to the backyard right next to the steps behind our house and I dug a tiny little hole and I took the whole of the dirt and all of the roots and all of my corn stalk and I planted it right next to the steps. I thought if I put it out there in the middle of the yard somewhere, it's going to get mowed over. I'll just put it next to the steps. And I created an environment big enough for my corn to grow in. And my mom thought it was Johnson grass and ended up pulling it by its roots and killing it anyway. But the point was, in the cup, it could only grow so big. And it could have grown a little bigger in a bigger pot, and a little bigger in a bigger pot, and a little bigger in a bigger pot. But corn really likes a lot of dirt and a lot of water. And so it is with your dreams. But in the same way that my mom pulled that corn out by its roots, there are going to be people in your life, people who are small-minded, people who are terrified of paper airplanes, and yet they're talking about spaceships. Uh, they're not ready to get out of their own living room, much less get out and change the world. Now, there's a marketing concept that says, if you find the niches, you'll find the riches. The riches are in the niches. The, the tribe, find your tribe, find those people who think like you, who act like you, who believe like you, and just talk to them. Because the more you talk to them, the more likely you are to close a deal, to have the business. To, and there's some truth to that. But the same person who said that comfort is a cage also said this. If you live your life in tribal only thinking, the size of your tribe will determine the size of your dream. If your tribe is small, if the people who think like you, act like you, live like you, decide like you, have the same culture as you, have the same wants and, and likes and dislikes as you, that's all your dream can grow up to be. If you've got big dreams and big visions and big goals, you've got to have a global vision. You've got to see on a larger scale and you've got to surround yourself with friends like that. 
Many people have used the illustration that if you put several crabs or lobsters in a bucket and one of them finds its way to freedom, long before it makes its final escape to freedom, all the other crabs or lobsters in the bucket will grab them and pull them back down. That is exactly the same as having a tribe of small-minded friends. If your friends are small-minded and that is your tribe, your dreams will only grow to their capacity. Leaders don't tolerate small-minded thinking. Leaders don't play very long in small tribes. Leaders think globally. They expand their thinking. They expand their realm of influence. They expand their friendships. They make deep, wide dirt with lots of nutrients, and they don't try to grow peach orchards in a parking lot. Not only do they do that for themselves, they do it for the people around them. They give you space to grow. They give you space for your seeds to grow, for your ideas to grow, for your dreams to grow, for your visions to grow deep, grab roots and flourish. And if the leaders around you are not like that, it's time to get a new try. I'm Jay Lauren Norris with Leading Leaders Podcast for Tell It Like It Is TV. Have a blessed day. Leadership team. If attitude is going to have a deep impact on your business and bottom line, make it a positive attitude with a positive impact. Visit jlaurenorris.com slash attitude hack.